Now, techne is the first of the muses in Greek. The muses are what make things, dance, theater, but techne was the first of the muses. And so techne is involved in all of the other arts. There must always be a technique. So technique, techne is primary. However, technics has been misapplied by the Western, well, by capitalism, whether it's West, East, or Middle East, or wherever, uh, to exploit the environment in order to enrich a few. The idea of ecotechnics is that techniques should have an ecological context. There was a small group of friends and colleagues who found an institute of ecotechnics in the early 70s. And the idea was not to have a, like an academic institute, but to have demonstration projects in each of the major biomes, desert, mountain, ocean, etc. And this ship was our second project that we built. We built the ship in 1974. And with volunteer um, work, we built this ferro-cement Chinese junk that has a length of 25 meters with uh, three masts. Our ship was named after Heraclitus, is a Greek philosopher who said change is the only constant. Uh, research in Antarctica, um, to participating in a dolphin release project in the States, and then uh, 10 years of, of research on the health of coral reef systems. So we came to the Mediterranean, arriving um, into Valencia in 2010, and then in February of 2011, we began the new Mediterranean expedition, which is an oral history expedition. It's called Lives and Legends of the Mediterranean Sea. The development of a vessel to cross water was the essential element in the development of civilization of the Mediterranean, and then it spread to the world. At least from the European view, without the ship, we would all still be farmers. There would be no modern civilization and development. The way it's developed uh, is with this idea that began with the Epic of Gilgamesh long ago, many thousands of years ago, of the conquest of nature. That you, you go and you conquer nature. Man, is, that is our role, to conquer and improve, to tame. Um, but it, that attitude has brought us to the ecological uh, and biospheric crisis that we see everywhere in the world. And then that's matched by the mythology of, from Egypt and Greece and Phoenicians and people we don't even know who then carried that mythology forward. For instance, the Jason and the Argonaut, the Golden Fleece, is the primal story of a young man to go on a ship to go somewhere unknown, to adventure, to find treasure, to come home. Uh, it goes back to the times of the Virgil, that's how old it is. The poet Virgil was initiated in this temple. And he was not just a poet, he was a shaman. And he was initiated to the goddess Chibele. So we know that this Lydian scale was already used in that time. We need to learn about every place new. When we arrive in a place, we need to survive and prove ourselves. So we need to know where to go, what the winds and the currents are, who the people are that live in that place. Uh, it's every time it's a new start. So the focus of this particular expedition is to uh, record, to uncover the stories um, of sea people around the Mediterranean um, against the backdrop of, of over-commercialization of the sea, industrialization, overfishing, pollution. Par exemple, les pollutions bactériologiques, eh ben, ça ne nous plaît pas beaucoup parce que si on se baigne, on devient malade. Les pollutions par les métaux lourds, les pesticides, ça ne nous plaît pas beaucoup puisque quand on mange des poissons qui sont un petit peu contaminés, nous, on sera encore plus contaminés. Les pollutions par hydrocarbures, c'est pas beau à voir, ça modifie notre environnement, on a horreur de ça. Commercial fishing, the fleets go out around Africa, they go all over the world now. 
and they take everything, and that is driving refugees from Africa, Somalia down to Guinea, and of course the North African coast and the Mediterranean. There is literally no more livelihood in the sea. Mais il y a d'autres types d'atteintes au milieu marin dont on parle pas du tout ou presque pas, puisque au contraire, ça nous sert, ça sert notre économie, euh, ça permet un développement touristique. C'est par exemple la destruction des petits fonds marins par des constructions gagnées sur la mer. Alors, ce peut être des ports, des plages alvéolaires, des terres pleins pour construire des immeubles. Si on fait le cumul de tous ces ouvrages gagnés sur la mer, on s'aperçoit très vite que c'est là le principal impact sur la vie marine euh, littorale. Et donc, où il n'y a pas de fish, il n'y a pas de no fishermen. Et donc, so vous voyez tous ces jeunes hommes qui, avant, auraient eu une vie très simple, life just fishing, et auraient été heureux de rester à la maison. Maintenant, ils sont tous desperate et ils sont angry. Et donc, ça is now creating a whole other cycle of, let's say, piracy, refugees, political displacement. And so that's where the ecological problems of the Mediterranean create all the social problems. And uh, there's no solution in sight.